Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. It is going to be another teacher video. I am not going to be going live this week. It's just been a crazy week. Uh, but I want to make sure that I get this video up. Today, during work in the morning, I took this template and I made it into a teamwork activity for my homeroom kids. They loved it. It was a big hit. So I decided that I want to share the easy part two version that I promised uh, from the previous video on how to just edit the template. If you're interested in diving deep into the formulas or really how to create one of these activities from scratch, then go ahead and watch part one of the video. I will have that linked in the description below. This one is going to be a much quicker video where we just take the already made template and turn it into something different. I will be sharing the holiday one that I create at the end of this one in the description as well, so you don't have to recreate this one. But if you come up with different ideas, I would love to see them. Please be sure to share these videos with other teachers, um, especially somebody in your own content or cohort so that they can work and uh, create something for you as well, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. I do wanna show you the teamwork activity that I created. Um, so it's a would you rather type of activity. So in this case, um, it just asks simple questions. Would you rather work on a team that values creativity, efficiency, support, or fun? Um, so let's say we uh, value creativity. Just type in the word and this student would live in a house. Okay, so that's just how it goes. Um, and they fill up all of these. There's no content, really it was just for fun. Uh, students really did enjoy this. So I will go ahead and link this in the description below if you want the teamwork, uh, would you rather? And I will also be linking this one, which is the template. But today I am going to be taking this template and turning it into um, a holiday activity. So basically I'm going to be uh, going through the instructions of how to take all of your images and put them into um, a in, into this template to make something else out of this template. Okay, so make a different mash activity with different options. Um, so I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to make a copy. The one in the description will be a forced copy. So this is gonna be mash holiday template. Uh, let's call it winter holiday. All right, so I went ahead and I made my copy and I am going to change this from math mash to winter mash. All right, so mash um, is a fun fortune telling game where you get to imagine the future. You'll answer <coughs> questions in each category, like where you live, your future job, or what kind of pet you'll have. Based on your answers, a unique feature will be revealed. Okay. So this is what we're gonna change. So you'll answer questions in each category, like where you'll visit. Um, what else do I have? Uh, what you will eat. Is it what you will eat? Or how the weather, or how the weather will be over your holiday break. Based on your answers, a unique feature will be real. Just remember to choose, just remember to choose one answer for a question to get the results. Okay, so this is on theme now with mine, right? I want it to be a winter holiday themed activity. We will change all the colors later. So that's what I'm gonna do here. This is gonna be, uh, MASH stays the same. Um, let's see. And actually, I don't think I'm, I have MASH. Okay, so I don't have a mash one, so let's just change this uh, place to visit. I am going to make this text wrap place to visit. The next one is what will you eat? And let's actually just select all these and make it text wrap. Question. What will you eat? Um, the next one I have is weather forecast. Weather forecast. All right, we're gonna wanna uh, 
I made this text smaller. So I selected it all and I made the text smaller up here using the minus sign. And I do select all of them because I do want it to be consistent and to look nice. So weather forecast and I have a holiday outfit and a gift you'll receive gift you will receive and a holiday activity all right so those are the categories that i have and we can change these questions here right so what place will you visit what place will you visit um, this will be what will you eat what will the weather be like and the next one is what will you wear and this is what gift will you receive and the last one is holiday activity what will you do on holiday okay there we go so this one doesn't have an image and i'm wondering why did i erase this answer one two three four five huh? All right, let's see what happened to the, oh, that image is gone from here. What happened? Did I do that? That's still here. Okay, somehow it didn't make it to the copy. That's weird. All right, well, there should be an image here, which would be Cal State Fullerton. So nothing wrong. I just don't know what happened to the image. Somehow I deleted it. Okay. Okay. So places to visit, what will you eat? And um, this is where you're gonna put your questions and your answers eventually when you turn this into an activity. Um, so the next step is to put our images in. So I have already made my images. Again, if you want a full version of what where I gather images from and how I resize them so they're all the same size, that's part of the bigger um, of uh, that longer video in this video i already have the questions ready and i'm just going to put them right in so i grabbed pictures for all of the categories that i made right so these are going to be the first category oh i lost my images i moved everything to the side all right so these will be my first category now instead of mash i have place The images go here and the name goes there. I'm just going to erase these because we don't need them. The next one is food. This is uh, weather. This is um, outfit and gift and activity. And the last one. Oh, that's it. Okay, good six and they erase these because we don't need these that was just like guiding and this is the video that takes you to that first video i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here um so this is the link to my original video the long long one that shows you how to uh do everything okay i'm gonna go ahead and delete all these images because then i'll know where i left off and i'm gonna start adding those descriptions here Okay, so this is what I want. This column here is these pieces here. So that's what's gonna show up, the word that matches the image. Okay, so mine is gonna be North Pole, uh, Winter Wonderland, a cozy cabin, or a sunny beach. All right, so those are the places you'll, <laughs> you'll visit. The next one's gonna be your food. So gingerbread cookies, uh, hot cocoa, uh, candy canes, or ice cream. 
Sundays. The next one's gonna be the weather, snowy and magical. Crisp and clear skies. I think I had whimsical rain and hot and sunny. For a holiday outfit, I have a cozy sweater and scarf, festive pajamas, ugly sweater, <laughs> or a Hawaiian shirt and flip flops. For a gift you'll receive, I have a sleigh ride a giant teddy bear, a personalized ornament, or a surfboard. And holiday activity, build a snowman, ice skating, uh, decorating tree, or having a, or a beach barbecue. Beach barbecue. All right, so those are my categories. That's how, what's gonna show up, see? So winter wonderland, gingerbread cookies, uh, snowy and magical, festive pajamas, personalized ornament, ice skating. Those would be the options here. So now I gotta bring in those images into here that match this word. Okay, so again, here are my images. Okay, so the first one here is going to be North Pole. So I'm going to go to Insert, Image, Image in the cell, and then I'm going to drag and drop my image for the North Pole. All right, the next one's Winter Wonderland. Insert, Image, Image in the cell, and I'm going to drag whatever I have that matches Winter Wonderland. Insert, Image, Image in the cell, and then I'm going to drag and drop my cozy cabin. Insert image, image in the cell, and I'm going to drag and drop my sunny beach. All right, let's see what those look like. All right, so here's Winter Wonderland. Here is North Pole. Here is Cozy Cabin. And here is Sunny Beach in Australia. All right, I am going to change this to red because again, I want it to be festive. I'm gonna click this color picker and select the red in the hat. And I'm gonna make all of this that red. And then I'm also going to change this to match that color. And then that way I can start picking um, colors that match more of the theme, the new theme that I have. Okay, and the next one, I'm gonna do the same. We're gonna keep repeating this process until we have all the images um, in. Then we'll change the colors and then you're done, that's your template. Then you're ready to add in your questions and your answers. So let's go ahead and keep going. All right, gingerbread cookies. Insert image, image in the cell. Drag and drop my gingerbread cookies. Hot cocoa, insert image, image in the cell. Drag and drop, oh, I think I double clicked. Drag and drop my hot cocoa. Insert image, image in the cell, drag and drop my candy canes. Insert image, image in the cell, drag and drop my ice cream sundae. And I do like to go back and test it. So these are my gingerbread cookies. That is the hot cocoa. Ooh, did I do? seven that is my candy canes and eight that is my ice cream sundae so let's do here seven all right let's actually pick up i'm trying to find one with a different i guess we can make this one green so i'm going to select the green from that leaf select two fields color picker and that green will do very festive and we'll make this all right 
starting to match. All right, next one is the weather forecast. I think I'm ready to just start going now and I'm gonna add all the pictures and then I'll go back in and change all the colors. So I'm just gonna keep doing this insert image in the cell and um, if you need help, just let me know. I'm also going to change, I'm gonna make this one hot and sunny, hot and sunny. And then this one I'll make crisp and clear skies because I don't want all the sunny ones to end up being at the end. So that's my mentality right now. So now I'm gonna go this one because that's the image I have left. And here, nope, that's this one. And then this is whimsical rain. Okay, this next one, I am going to change this one to cozy sweater and scarf. And this one will be my Hawaiian shirt and flip-flops. Just a couple of them. They don't all have to change, but... I like that, that one. And then this one, insert image in the cell. It's gonna be this one. I feel like that sweater is uglier than the ugly Christmas sweater I have in here. <laughs> these pajamas are funny. I do wanna show something because these um, images, right? I generate them using AI. And the pajamas are funny because <laughs> I guess I could just show you, it's 14 on the outfit. Oh, there they are. And this one, I just thought it was so funny because it has a shirt and then the matching pants and then these pants have arms. So I just thought that was hilarious, but I'm leaving it. Maybe the students will catch it, maybe they won't. Insert image and sell, sleigh ride. Insert image and sell, teddy bear. Insert image in the cell. Ornament. Insert image in the cell. Surfboard. Insert image in the cell. And this is snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? This one's ice skating. decorating tree and last but not least our last image is the barbecue who doesn't want to have a barbecue on Christmas yum I mean this is not a Christmas activity it's a holiday activity All right, I'm gonna close these out I don't need the uh, questions anymore and this is done right this is a template already it has all the images in here. So what we wanna do is we wanna make it nice and pretty and uh, match the colors that we want. So I am going to use these colors in the background and then we'll mess with some of the other features. So I'm gonna select these two, that's gonna be the third one and I am going to go for one of these blues. I think that works. I'll see how it looks like at the end we can change some of the colors around. Um, this one, I guess we could make it a brownish color, that, like a matching, maybe a different green. Let's see, oh, let's try to go for this, why not? I think that works okay. We'll see it all together at the end. I want it to be festive, but at the same time, I also want to respect the fact that not everybody celebrates these holidays. So these colors don't um, don't always bring up the same emotion for everybody. So, yeah, okay. And then these, let's see, what color am I missing? Red, green. I think we can use a different red to kind of bookend this and let's use one of these reds in here it's more of a pinkish yeah that's okay if you keep doing that I hope that didn't change the background okay so 
see what this looks like. All right, that looks okay. I'm not convinced that it looks very holiday-ish and that it's because the border. Okay, so now look at how these, I have a space on the top. I like them to fill, fit nice, like very, very nicely. So I'm going to select my columns. The reason why it's the columns is because I have extra here at the top. So I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna right click and go to resize and I'm gonna resize these to a 60. And then now that looks better. There's less room around. I am going to select the border by holding my control key down. So the outermost border, and I'm gonna make that one of my colors here. I think I'm gonna go with the red. And then I'll make the inside the green. I think that's okay. I might just go and I don't like the different colors now that I look at it. It doesn't look Christmassy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one green, but a different green, like a darker green. And then I'll make this one a darker green. And then I'm gonna make this one red. Maybe the same red, it doesn't matter. Right, now they're, no, let's not make it the same red. <laughs> let's use that red we had used earlier. That's gonna be this one. And then this one will be green, I guess. So red, red, let's make this one red. And then they, they're kind of alternating. So this will be that bright, bright red from the top. Make this one that bright red. And then I'm gonna make this one a that first green. Yeah, I think that looks better. I mean, these don't necessarily have to match your cards, the colors, but I do want it to be festive looking. You can make it blue as well. Whatever you feel like it's gonna make your um, template work. But here it is. You can also change the whole color. This is the final winter holiday template um, for students to work with. So now the next step is to add your questions and your answers. And that works exactly the same as the other video. So go ahead and watch that part of the video. If you've made it this far and you have created an activity, thank you so much. Please make sure that you grab your free templates um, in the description. Don't leave those away. But also do me a solid and subscribe to the channel. It's going to keep me uh, creating content and sharing all these things for free. And share this with another teacher. Share it with the teacher, with the principal, with somebody that would find this useful and entertaining. The more kids that we reach, the better, right? So let's have some fun with this. Um, and don't forget to like, leave me a comment if this was helpful. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.